Hey everybody and welcome to Big G Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about arrow, spine, and tip wing. So we have four different arrow setups here with different tip weights and different spines. So we have a 500 spine uh, gold tip traditional with a 100 grain tip. We have a 500 spine with 150 grain tip. We have a 400 spine with a 200 grain tip. Um, I'm sorry, a 300 grain tip. We have a uh, 200 grain brass, uh, 100 grain brass insert and a um, 145 grain tip on it. So that's 245, so like 250. And then this one is uh, 200 grain. And then we have the heavyweights, the 340 spine with a 300 grain tip up front. So um, all these arrows are pretty balanced out with the tip weight and the spine for coming off the bow. And um, what I'm gonna show you is how you lose a little bit of trajectory um, with heavier arrows because a lot of people say it about, you know, you need a heavy arrow, but then people saying it's too slow, it drops too much. If you're shooting gap, your gap is, you know, gigantic because the arrow is not shooting as flat as the lighter arrows. So what we did is we took the uh, Striker Classic here and, um, you know, I usually, I'm shooting off the shelf, no sights or anything like that. So it, it would be kind of hard. I think I would naturally adjust subconsciously with the heavier arrow. So what I went and did was I just put a couple pinstripes on here for references. And I'm going to go and I'm going to shoot one from like 15 yards and then one from like 20 yards, 25 yards. And uh, I'm going to use these reference points just because... Um, we want a constant for testing these arrows to see if, um, to sh just show us where they're going to hit with the heavier weights and the stiffer spines and everything. So, um, let's go take a couple shots and, uh, really find out what the difference is between heavier weights and stiffer spines. Okay. So what we're going to be going for down here, right in here somewhere, um, is the black block. And I have a red Coca-Cola bottle cap hanging from a string. So that's what we're going to be shooting for. Um, and we're going to try each different spine. But I'm going to be using the same reference point on my bow every time. Like I said, usually I'm just instinctive off the shelf. But I figured this is the only way that I could truly know how much those tips are dropping be to just so I know that I'm not subconsciously adjusting for the weight of the tip. This way I know I'm shooting from the same spot every time. Um, this is just merely a test of the spine and the tips. So let's shoot the first one and beat a 500 spine with a 100 grain tip. That was pretty flat and right out it just missed to the left uh, so now we got the 500 grain I mean the 500 spine with the 145 grain tip huh a little high obviously operator here now the 400 spine with the 200 grain tip that one come down a little bit now the 400 spine with the 250 grain up front 
100 grain brass inspert and uh, 150 grain field tip. That one, the bottom fell out. <clears throat> now, the big dog, the 340 spine with 300 grains up front. Okay, now let's take a look here. So, the top three that are actually really close to the rim are our, uh, that's our 500 spine with 100 green tip. And then the one the uh, the 150 green on the 500 spine and the 400 spine with the, um, I forget, 200 grains. And then 400 spine with 250, and then 340 spine with the 300 grains. So you could see why the heavier we got, the more we dropped. And you could see why 3D shooters and target shooters, they like to shoot a lighter spine with lighter up front. But as you go into your hunting arrows, you want a heavier and more FOC. So you're going to lose that trajectory and um but still you can see they're all pretty close now let's move it back to 25 yards where we should start seeing a real difference all right now we're back here at 25 yards there's our block we should really start seeing a big difference now with these tip weights and these spines the heavy arrows should really start to the bottom should fall out and they should really start I would imagine maybe seven or eight inches difference. So let's take a look. Starting with the lightest first and the weakest spine. Wait, Katie. Wait, bud, come here. <laughs> Wanna say hi to everybody? Look, say hi. Look, look, say, look right here and say, Big G Outdoors. Big G Outdoors. All right, we got one more arrow, okay? One more arrow, come here. Buddy, come here. Sometimes autism gets in the way of making a video. That's okay, you gonna stand there? Let me shoot this last one. Ready? Talk about distraction. Okay, even though. We had a bit of a distraction. We still kind of got the results we were looking for. Our two 500 spine arrows with the lightweight. This is the 100 grain tip, and this is the 145 grain tip. Then we moved on to the 400 uh, 400 spine arrow with the um, uh, 200 grain up front. And then right here is the 400 spine with 250 and then finally down here at the bottom is our um, 340 spine with 300 uh, 300 grains up front now ironically the arrow closest to the um, 
to the bullseye there is the arrow that I have tuned for the bow and that's the arrow that I'm shooting. The four, the 500 um, spine arrows with the real lightweight, they're up front, they're up high and the real heavy ones that I use with my Damon Howard Hunter, like here, they're way down there. So we got five different spines, five different tip weights, and from 25 yards away, this is what, what, what it looks like. For me anyway, being distracted by autism. All right, we're gonna try one more time because we're running out of daylight here. So again, starting with the lightest, moving to the heaviest. Uh, this time my son's not out here to distract me. So we'll see if we can do any better. Oh, 500 spine, 100 green tip. Now these were shooting a little high because they're lighter and faster and um, I've been shooting with the heavier 400 spines. That's my arrow for the, uh, but just for this purposes. Let's see. Perfectly in line, just high, like we thought. A little bit lower, a little heavier. Now this is the arrow that I've been shooting out of this bow. Let's see if we can hit that red dot. Just to the right. I'm not gonna blame Caden again, but he did just come out the door right before I released. Okay, last shot. see how we did. Kaden! He's swinging, buddy. He's swinging. Katie! Say bow and arrow. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how we did. Pretty much like before, same thing. There's the 340 spine. Wait, let me flip this around. I guess I can't, hold on. There's the 340, 400, 400, 500, 500, and that's the 500 with the 100 green. So same results. So there you go. Um, if you're gonna increase your tip weight your arrow weight um, you're gonna have to use a little stiffer of an arrow so with the stiffer thicker heavier arrow and a heavier tip weight you're gonna have more of an arc in your um, arrow trajectory it's just plain and simple so there are measures for that where you know uh, you could string walk you could there's there's a lot of different ways to reduce your gap, um, but the heavier your arrow setup is, the bigger variation in distance you're gonna have. So if you want fast, flat shooting arrows, you're gonna need to go lightweight with light tips. And if you want heavier, harder hitting arrows, but the trajectory is gonna be uh, bigger. So I hope that clarified some stuff for everybody. Uh, Thanks for watching, Big G Outdoors.